Hi, I'm Micah reporting for Kids First, and today I have the amazing opportunity to speak with Sammy Haney from Raising Dion. Sammy Haney is an 11-year-old actor who is becoming a fan favorite. She plays Esperanza, Dion's best friend, but in real life, she's a disability advocate who is making the world a better place by spreading positivity. I just want to say Esperanza is like the perfect friend. Like she is just a friend everybody wants to uh, have around. So is she someone that you try to be like as well? Um, I'm kind of like her a little bit, but our characters are still totally different. Yeah, how do you say, how do you think that they're different? Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain things good. <laughs> We're just different. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, she's a great personality, and you have a great personality as well. So Thank what you. was your favorite memory about being on set? Because I know it has to be so much fun filming that um, kind of thing. My favorite memory is actually on season one when there's like this big Halloween party mm -hmm. and uh, the all the buildings, people in their offices like set up candy things and we like went in there and collected candies from the doors as if it was like a neighborhood or something and it was really fun. Fire. Yeah, they had like this huge like fire cannon or something and it had like a huge fire like go up into the air, but it was safe. Okay, well, that sounds pretty dangerous, but it's good that it was safe, and that sounds like it'll be really fun to experience. I think that Esperanza, she has a wide range of things she's interested in, so a lot of people can relate to her. Yeah. And do you think that being able to relate to Esperanza can, like, help them enjoy the show more? Um, yeah. Um, when I watch stuff relating to the characters and stuff, uh, makes me enjoy the show more, so I think, yeah. Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, how long does it usually take you to learn your lines? Because you are, like, in a lot of episodes, have a lot of lines. So what's the process like? Um, I basically study it every night before bed, um, before the time when they, like, when they send us a script, at, like, before so that we can study it. And then when the time comes, I have it all memorized up because of that. That must be pretty hard, but I think that your delivery definitely showed that you knew what you were doing. So um, keep it up because what you're doing is clearly working and a lot of people will enjoy your performance. Oh, thank you. I personally love the scene where you sang your final song in the musical and Kwame definitely seems like he has a lot of energy. So yeah. what was it like working with him, especially for that kind of scene? Um, he was really nice and awesome. Um, yeah, he was really good to work with. He was really awesome. He did a lot of good ad-libs, too. Yeah. Oh, definitely. The ad-libs, like, made the song, like, perfect. <laughs> that was definitely one of my favorite scenes. And that last episode was just so good. All the um, um, costumes and lights and how the camera was working. That seemed like definitely a fun thing to do. Yeah. So I think that the Triangle of Justice gives Dion a great support system, but how do you think it helps Esperanza, too? Um, I think it uh, helps her, like, um, uh, I don't know, like, connect with the friends more. Yeah, definitely. And um, I think it's super fun for her because she gets to do um, um, the timing and stuff and for me timing is fun so <laughs> <laughs> the leader of the pack kind of like she tells everyone what they're doing when they're doing it when they're training when they're going out so being that leader for the team definitely gives um jonathan dion and esperanza the nice support system that they need yeah and um you said that you want to see esperanza have powers and so do I. What kind of powers do you think Esperanza will have? I don't know, actually. Maybe speaking to animals, but I don't know if Esperanza is, like, that really into animals. Mm -hmm. That would be yeah. fun. I'm, I wonder what the conversations would be like. That seems like, uh, what would you talk about, about that? Um, maybe the animals could, like, help us in some way, like Pinchy, the crab. Oh, yeah. Pinchy's, like, essential. Even though he's not in that many scenes, he's, like, essential to how this has gone, especially in season one, how we've seen, like, 
how he helped Dion master his powers and all that. So when you're not on set, like, what's your favorite thing to do? What does a relaxing kind of day look like for you? Um, I like reading and watching stuff on YouTube and Hulu and Netflix and all the other stuff. Um, uh, I do some gardening in our backyard. Well, not really. I do the gardening more of I kind of sometimes pick the vegetables. My mom's good, at, really good at, like, growing stuff. Ooh, that's definitely fun. Um, I used to, um, my grandfather has a little garden, and every time the seasons come around, we always plant things out there. So that's definitely a fun way to get outside and have some fun in the sun. Yeah, it's really awesome. Yeah, it is. And so for Raising Dion, it's like a huge show, and it was actually number one in the U.S., if I'm correct. So how exciting is that to you and the rest of the cast? Like, how much excitement did that build for you? Well, I'm excited because we're, we probably might get a season three, which is super awesome because if enough people watch it in the first 30 days, then you, you get another season. Does everybody hear that? You need to watch Raising Dion all the way through in the first 30 days because this needs a season three. Season two was so good. And I actually watched it like, all the way through just like season one and I was so like I was so happy when I found out that it was coming back because I kept watching season one over and over again I was like when is it coming that's awesome wow yeah how much do you think you watch the show like I know you're in it so is that weird for you or do you just watch it normally um seeing myself on the camera and hearing my voice feels mm -hmm. kind of awkward but it's okay yeah I feel like I don't like hearing my voice when I record myself or anything, but I feel like if it was on a TV show, it's kind of someone else's dialogue that you made yours, so it might be a little different. It's still a little bit awkward, like, a little bit, yeah, I feel kind of awkward in the scenes, but the show's really awesome and I really like it. What do you think about Esperanza's wardrobe? Because this season, the wardrobe was, like, on another level for Esperanza. It really complimented her character. Yeah, I think the wardrobe really um, brought out who Esperanza as a character really is, and uh, their their character um, design of the outfit was really good for her personality. So, what do you think? What do you think the third season will be like? Um, because I definitely feel like it's coming. Well, I don't know if you uh, watch to the end of the credits, but there's a end of credit scene. That tells you about what it's going to be about. Yeah, it seemed like a little different than uh, both season one and season two. So when we get a season three, I definitely have a lot of questions about what it's going to be about. Is Pat going to still be bad? Is he going to be good? Is he going to be a leader? We don't know. I don't know, because I don't know. <laughs> Um, this was like so much fun and I really appreciate you talking with me today. So for my final question, I just, what do you think that audiences should learn from this show? Like what message do you want them to take away? Um, let me think. Hmm. Um, I really don't know. I think that the show is awesome and that it has a lot of messages to put out. Yeah, it definitely does. One that really resonated with me was follow your gut because everyone in the show has such crazy lives. Even Esperanza and she doesn't have powers. And even Jonathan, who you guys are all helping with the Triangle of Justice. You guys have such dangerous lives. So going with the gut feeling is like essential in the moment. Yeah. So thank you again for talking with me. And everyone make sure you watch Raising Dion Season 2 on Netflix. Right now. All right. Thanks for interviewing us. Bye. I mean, me. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much for talking with me today. I just talked to Sammy Haney about season two of Raising Dion. You can find season two of Raising Dion out now on Netflix. So make sure you check it out. I'm Mike for reporting for Kids First. And make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next interview or review. See you next time.